Welcome to Mr. Otter Studio. Today I'm going to show you how to make these spooky Halloween books and this is the fast version. You put the letters on a book, glue bugs to it, paint it white with Mod Podge, cover it with tissue paper, paint it black, and then add some metallic paint. This is the long version. These are the supplies that you need. You need a book and this is just a book from the dollar store. Any book will work. I think bigger books look a little bit better. You need foam letters to decorate it with or to write your title onto it. These are just some I found at Walmart. You need some plastic things to attach to the front of it with hot glue. So I found these bugs, insects, things like this will work great. Maybe even a skeleton. This might be cool. You also need tissue paper. It does not matter what color because we'll be painting over it. And this is also from the dollar store. You need Mod Podge, a paintbrush, a hot glue gun with hot glue, and you need black paint and then whatever color of metallic paint you want to add to the top. It could be silver, bronze, whatever you want. And scissors and a pencil. Okay, let's get started. The first thing we're going to do is add a title to the front of your book. So these are just like sticker foam letters and the reason you want foam letters is because they stand off of the page and they'll end up looking like kind of an embellished cover. And you can use a ruler if you want them to be straight and more precise, that's very helpful. Here are some names also that you could title it. Dark Arts, Spellbook, Potions, Witch's Brew, Arachnophobia, Tom Riddle's Diary, Spells, Venomous Potions, Defense Against the Dark Arts, Horcrux, Curses, Black Magic, Book of Shadows, Spooks Anonymous, or you could just put Boo on the front of it. You can also add a title to the spine of your book. It depends on how thick it is and how big your letters are. Step number two is to use a hot glue gun to attach any plastic things to the top of your book. If you got any of these rings with bats or skeleton faces, just cut off the ring part so you can just attach the image or the object, like this bat. So grab your hot glue gun and glue any of those objects to your cover. Make sure you use enough hot glue that it's gonna stay there. Don't worry about the strings. If you wanna attach anything to the spine of your book, use your hot glue gun. This bat was too wide, so I just decided to use a skeleton instead. Okay, once you have attached those, you're ready for step three. That's to use the hot glue gun to make any more designs you want on the cover. So I just basically made the, uh, I'm really into Harry Potter right now. So I made the Deathly Hollows symbol. I wanted to draw it on there and pencil first just to make sure I got it right. So you can do that if you want and then just cover it in hot glue and whatever you embellish like this or you add hot glue to, it's going to be raised up, so you'll be able to see it after we add the gold, the very last step. You can also just add lines to the spine, that's what I'm doing here. Whatever you want. I should have added something to the back, made it more interesting. Okay, now you need to grab your tissue paper and we are going to just cut it out so it's the size of the cover of the book. So just trace it onto the paper. Trace the front, the spine, and then the back, and then go ahead and cut that out. Okay, step number five. You want to cover the whole front of your book with Mod Podge. And this is so the, the tissue paper really sticks to it. So goop it on there, it should be white. If it's not white, then you probably need to add a little bit more Mod Podge. It's gonna dry fast, so this part's probably the hardest part of the whole thing. Then you wanna lay your tissue paper over the top and pat it down with your fingers. So you wanna make sure you get in between the letters too, because if you don't, then when you add the gold, it's not going to be a B or an O, it'll just kind of look like a, a shape. You won't be able to see the, the letter as much. You can use Mod Podge on the inside to just wrap the tissue paper or you can just cut it with scissors. So this is what it looks like at this point. We've covered everything with tissue paper, patted it down and it's dry. And now we're going to paint it black. So this is the easiest step, I feel like. Just cover it completely with your black paint. You might need to turn your book to different angles to make sure that you get in between the letters and any parts that are raised. You just might need to check and make sure you got all of those parts. Also, you might need to stand the book up. 
So you can paint the back because the front is not going to be dry probably by the time you paint the back. So you can just stand the book up and then you can paint the back after you paint the spine. Step six, this is the last step. So grab a foam brush or whatever paintbrush you have really. I found that the foam brush worked better. Go ahead and dip it in that metallic paint and this part is a little tricky. I think this is probably the trickiest part of this whole book. You're going to cover just those raised parts. So you gotta keep it kind of flat or else the paint is gonna get all around and you won't be able to see any of the details. You can also brush the paintbrush around on the, the flat part of the book to get some texture in there. If you get too much, just hurry and wipe it away with a damp cloth. I'm not very damp, I mean, just barely. You, can, you have a little bit of time to move in there and you can also just like rub it around to make it look a little bit more faded or old. Do the same thing with the back. It makes it easier to see the details I put on with the hot glue in this part. I kind of like to take my brush around the edges too. I feel like it, I don't know, it gives it a cool look. So you can kind of see the wrinkles and the tissue paper here. My niece was helping me with this. Thank goodness, that's why it looks so good. And I probably would add one more layer maybe of gold paint to make this um, a little bit brighter and not as faded. But I like how it turned out. This, this is a really fun project. These are really easy to make and honestly I found everything at the Dollar Tree and Walmart. You can also make the pages look old by rubbing dirt in there. You could add different things so it looked like the pages were stained, maybe even tear some pages out. My niece also had a really good idea to just like cut out a box inside of it and hide something inside of your book, which was really cool. So anyway, thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a happy Halloween and good luck making your book. Have a great day.